Today we're here at Challenge 75. Um, it's an accessible challenge where wheelchair users and non-disabled people can take part together. Um, they start together, they finish together, and it's a festival of inclusivity. I'm Mackenzie and I'm doing Challenge 75, which is a 75 minute run around a 400 metre track. I got involved with this kid, so my mum and dad found them and they got me my new wheelchair, which is much more easy for wheeling. participants will be going around the track for 75 minutes and um, so they've all got a chip timer they'll be seeing how many laps they can do in 75 minutes um, and it's all about challenging yourself seeing how far you can go it's not a race it doesn't matter if you do five laps or 50 laps it's all about pushing yourself to see how far you can go we're feeling quite excited ready for it up for it it's been a great day um, really good turnout really good mix of, of kids um, they're all smiling. That's what you want. You want young people that are just smiling and happy to be here. Uh, very, very, very tiring. And also fun. It's a run, you could walk, everybody was taking it at their own speed. I think we'll go and get a, a long cold drink and something to eat. A little bit tired. Uh, it was fun, I enjoyed it. Uh, and I want to see if we can do it again next year. I started raising money for WIS Kids in 2015 when I did the London Marathon. So I think it's very, very important that we do make it all inclusive for people, disabled and non-disabled as well. The confidence issues, but also the fact that disability affects the whole network of people, so why not do it as a group? I think that if we offer more of them, where both types of people are available to join in, then that will like shorten the gap between them and lead to more understanding of how they can help each other.